What's up everybody, Jason here, bringing a little something for the people by way of color correction with an Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Thanks for checking out the video. So today we're going to be uh, using a couple of, uh, of tools within Adobe Premiere and uh, to really take this flat footage right here shot with a pro lost flat picture style into this right here, which is a lot more crisp and clear and uh, color balanced. This is not color grading, this is color correction. Um, if you want color, if you want to color grade your footage, you need to have it properly balanced and, and corrected to begin with. You gotta be a seed before you flower. So with that, we're gonna be going, um, we're gonna be using an adjustment layer, the RGB curves, your reference, and your reference monitor. So let's get going. So I'm just gonna take and blow out that adjustment layer and really start from the beginning here. So you'll see as I take that adjustment layer, boom, you see how that went back to the flat look right there. Okay, so go into your project uh, tab down here and go to a new item, adjustment layer. Make sure it's your comp size, hit OK. And we'll line up there, just bring it over, line it up, drag until it lines up and boom, there you go. Highlight this and then go into your effects tab and type in RGB. Now within RGB, you'll see a couple of, couple of uh, options for RGB under the color corrections folder here. There's a color corrector and color curves. That's what we're going to be using. So you can either drag or dr drag and drop, or you can double click onto your footage and go up here to your effects controls tab and boom, there it is. So before you start using these though, we need one very important tool and that is the reference monitor. So drop down here to get a window, reference monitor, and then bring up this window right here. And this will give you your RGB parade. If this particular window doesn't pop up after hitting reference monitor, just right click, go to display mode, and choose RGB parade. And boom, there you go. All right. So what do we have here? If you're not familiar with these, a quick overview. I won't get into the theory, but here you go. So down here you have your shadows, your blacks, and um, then you have in the middle here your midtones, um, and then you have up here your highlights, right? And uh, so you often hear it referred to as shadow, midtones, highlights, or um, your pedestal, your gamma, and your gain up here. And the the object here, in short, is to have your colors equally distributed across the spectrum to make this image, or make whatever image or footage you're using, um, balance uh, color-wise. So what we're going to do here is first start off with the shadows. We want to bring these down. We want this to be just touching. We want all uh, these three channels to be touching down here at the bottom. So if they're all kind of lined up like this, I'm just going to bring it down using the master curve right here. Um, don't worry if it's not precise here. We just want to set things up and we can adjust each individual channel. <clears throat> Once we get everything kind of lined up there, great. Okay, so now let's um, go up here and uh, improve our highlights. And just watch the footage as I go here. So I'm gonna go all the way up, and I'm just gonna get it to the blue touches. And then you see how we gotta bring up the red here, but already look at this and how it's already starting to brighten up. Let me turn this off. Boom, boom, look at that. Now, there's still a red cast over a color cast. I'm going to bring that up and now we want to get the, um, the highlights or I'm sorry the midtones in there. There we go. Let's brighten it up just a little bit and that's looking about right. You don't want to get too crazy right now because um, with your um, contrast and other things like that because uh, that's what your color grading is going to do, but you may want to add some contrast in there. So let's just add a little bit in there. Not bad. There we go. And there is a little color cast over it, so let's just kind of play around with it a little bit. Yeah. There we go. All right. So. 
this is pretty much balanced. Um, there wasn't a lot to do with this footage. If um, you were doing an interview with a person on camera, you're going to want, depending on their skin tones, you're going to want the mid tones to be kind of in this area, you know, the 80 to 60 range. Really depends on the lighting and skin tones and a bunch of other things. But you know, this is kind of where you want your, your skin tones to be. Um, now, what we're going to do is add a little bonus here. Um, take a look at the instruments in here within this plane. They're a little broken out. Um, if I'm just doing like a quick video for you know my church or a friend or something like that, a little home movie, a lot of times I just kind of color correct it, add some uh, some contrast, some unsharp mask, which I'll show you about, and it's pretty much done and ready to go. Uh, if I'm doing a, you know, a professional project, then obviously you're gonna color grade it and get more depth. But, but I, in any event, I wanna show you a tool that really helps um, called Unsharp Mask. So drop back here to the effects panel right, and see what Unsharp Mask, we're gonna double click. And really what this does, here, let me pull out some of that red. Yeah, that'll do it. All right, <clears throat> if uh, this wasn't a tutorial, I'd spend a lot more time dialing this in. Um, but the Unsharp Mask, let's just kind of go up here and let's bring up this footage a little bit more. And what we have are amount, radius, and threshold. For all intents and purposes, you just want to kind of, you know, worry about amount and radius for now. So what I normally do is I start out standard. It, I'll type in 100 and drop down to radius and I'll hit 2. And you'll notice how right here really pops um, as the Unsharp Mask. One thing you won't notice as well within the um, screen capture is how much it really uh, sharpens up the rest of the footage around here. Um, if I get three, you might be able to see it. And <clears throat> on my screen, three is a little too much. It becomes a little too processed, if you will, as far as it looks a little too um, uh, um, it's overdone. So I'm going to do two. Now let me take off this. Watch this right here, the instruments. Let me just show you. See that? See how it just kind of flattens out and um, it's not as crisp and sharp. This this is a great, great tool when you are doing an interview. Um, there is a sharpen option within this effects panel, but Unsharp Mask gives you a better um, gives you more flexibility on how to sharpen things and objects and things like that. Go figure out. Um, so, and if you want, as an added bonus, let's just add some contrast. I'm going to do brightness and contrast. And, well, this probably takes a 20 and maybe 10. Just kind of play around with it. And let's do 25. It's not bad. Drop the, this down to 1.5, and we got a pretty good looking image there. It's kind of saturated, but like I said, you really don't want to do the brightness and contrast. This, there are better ways to do brightness and contrast, but if you're just trying to get this out the door, these are really the three things that you need. Um, if you're going to do color grading, I would take that off. Um, but by and large, that's it. All right, guys. Hey, thanks very much for your time and watching this. I hope this video has helped you improve your color correction skills, answered some questions, and really set you up for better color grading in the future. Don't forget to head over to my website and sign up for the latest in new tutorials and other footage as well as free stock footage. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I will answer them. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.